Hi everyone, Miss here. Thanks for stopping by. So today I've got a review on this little keyring set that I got uh, part of the PR package that I got from uh, Crystal Art and Craft Buddy um, with the toucan, the turtle and the panda. I've completed them now so I'm going to seal them as well on this video, show you how um, I seal them. Well, one side of them anyway while that dries. But uh, yeah, these are really fun to do and the colours on them are just marvellous. Uh, look at that one. I hope you can see the sparkle and shine there on that little uh, turtle there. He's got all ABs on his shell in the middle and then he's got like a darker browny um, green going around the edges and then different colours for his tail and then we've got these larger ABs as well. Um, and it, it just really does sparkle. He's just so pretty. And I was really taken with him. Uh, I quite like turtles at the minute. So yeah, that one's really pretty. And they are double-sided. So you get enough gems to do both sides. And I've got plenty left over, all in my little baggies that I will be uh, putting away, putting into my storage. Um, but I'm not going to do that on this video because I want to do some sealing. So that's the little turtle. Lovely little uh, animals. Right before I've... Um, put the key rings on them you do get the two different types of key ring so you've got your like bag charm type key ring or you've got your little chain type key ring so you've got your two different types I thought I would put the sealant on them first before I put the key chains on because they are a nice shiny gold colour um, and I don't want to tarnish that uh, with the uh, sealer I'm not sure what it would work like doing it on there so the other one, I'm not sure which one's my favourite. This is lovely as well. This is the toucan and the colours on those feathers, those AB colours on those feathers really do stand out. And these are all like black ABs as well, all going around the edge. And then he's got two turn on his beak. Um, we've got some little round ABs for his eye and just at the top there. And it just really makes it, let's see if you can see it. See if it sparkles. Really special. Again, just a real fun little project. I just sat, I think it was last night, and just thought oh, I'll just do those. And uh, yeah, just real quick to do, real easy, a bit of fun. As I say, I tend to do all one side first and then turn over and do the other because I tend to find if you say do all the, uh, say, blue colour and then turn it over and do the blue colour because you've not got anything like anchoring these in um, you tend to find that they can move a little bit so I tend to do the whole of one side first and then the whole of the other so that's the toucan and then the little panda bear with the boggly eyes Ooh, eyes move look from that side to that side to that side and if you're really clever you can get him to go cross-eyed <laughs> But again, he's got ABs around his ears, got AB on his tummy there. Um, and just really fun to do, real sparkly. But yeah, his uh, little eyes move. Oh, that one's not wanting to move. Oh, oh yes, it is now. <laughs> so, yeah, great. Nice as bag charms or keychains or whatever you want to do. Or even just, you know, for displaying somewhere. You could even put them um, on like, if you do like a wind chime, you could put them at the bottom of a wind chime. Or if you've got a pull cord in the bathroom, you could put them on the bottom of a pull cord. Once they're sealed, the diamonds are going to stay on. OK, so let's get, we'll get one side sealed anyway. So I've got the Craft Buddy brush set, which has got all your different sizes, your small ones, like your larger one there. But I thought this one is uh, probably the best size. It's about... What is that, half a centimetre? Let's have a look. Let's do a quick measure. Uh, yeah, roughly half a centimetre on that. I've got my Craft Buddy uh, Crystal Art Sealer. This is the uh, 150ml, as you see. I've uh, used a little, if you can see, I've used quite a bit of it. I've been doing quite a few notebooks. As, um, if you've watched my previous video, I did do... Um, quite a big sealing video and unfortunately I lost it so <laughs> I've used a lot of sealer and not got anything to show for it so I'm just going to get a little bit I'm going to put them on my hand just to steady him and just cover over 
all those gems and it's really just like routing tiles you're just wanting the glue to go in between you don't need a lot um, and it's personal choice as to whether you then wipe the glue off or not um, I used to and then I, I found that it wasn't making any difference and I don't wipe the glue off anymore um, I tried half of a canvas with it and half without and it really didn't look any different um, Craft Buddy do recommend that you use a lint free cloth to wipe any excess off so you know it is entirely up to you whether you do want to do that or not but uh, as I say I don't anymore I find it's just another step that I don't need to do because it does dry clear and uh, you can then see through it but yeah it's uh, I don't know I hope you can see me doing this I'm just literally working it carefully don't go too hard in with your brush because obviously if your drills are slightly loose or you've on your edges you may push them out of place or push them off and um, before this dries you have got chance to just push something back into uh, shape if you need to um, but uh, if you're careful and just use a nice good quality soft brush so the bristles don't come out then you can just get away with this so I tend to do it on my hand uh, because I can get a better grip of it to stop it moving obviously with the canvas you would have to do it flat on the table but these are a little bit um, shaped underneath shall we say because they've got the drills on just make sure I get that into there make sure I've got a full coverage and that they're all done as you can see they are all starting to go clear and dry already and then I'll probably leave these for a few hours and then flip them over and probably put them onto one of my messy craft mats so that they don't stick if there is still any tack to dry off or preferably leave them overnight um, and then do the other side but yeah really easy to use um, I don't water mine down um, because I do find I think uh, Sarah does say that you can get bubbles but I tend to find that well you don't need to water it down you just use a smaller amount if you find you're using too much because a little amount does spread an awful long way while you're doing it you know I put quite a bit on my brush there and that's practically covered what, well over half of this nearly two thirds of this just by working it through Make sure it goes, you're wanting it to go in between the diamonds so it sets it in between. You're not wanting it on the top of the diamonds. It is just going in between them just to set them. As I say, it's a little bit like tile grouting um, when you're just putting your white in between just to keep your tiles in place. But it's the same principle. Okay, just give him a little bit, just put a little bit more on his beak there. And that'll just keep that in place. But I love the colours on these and the ABs really make them pop. I must admit I was very, very impressed doing these. As you can see, it's very warm here today. So they're starting to dry already. Okay. And then finally, the little panda with the boggly eyes. Just do his legs and his little tummy. I'll do that little leg there and his little arms just get in between there so the nice these brushes the uh, the hairs don't come out of them and they are slightly shaped at the end so you get a good coverage if you do find any of your drills come off then obviously put them on straight away because once it's dried um you may find that the sealer goes into the hole where the drill was and it can be quite difficult to then even using the sealer to put a drill flat underneath. I talk from experience. <laughs> I have done this with missing drills, mainly on canvases though, not on nice little projects like this. Now I'm not going to put the sealer over the eyes because I think that would cover the eyes up and possibly make them cloudy. So I am just going to go around the eyes. But uh, yeah, I'll make sure I don't uh, put any on the actual plastic she says just going on the plastic so I'll just give that a quick wipe at that side there
there. Okay. This is how not to diamond paint videos. <laughs> Just go around there so you can just get that. Oops, make sure it's all fully covered. And then that's that one done as well. As I say, you can see these are drying pretty quickly already because it is so warm in here. So I will leave those for a few hours. I will possibly leave them overnight um, and just let them dry. And then once they're done, they will be okay and then I shall put the keychains on and they'll be good to go for whatever you want to use them for I think you can see there look I mean those big green ones on the edge I did put quite a bit on there and you can see now that you know the shine's coming through and the white is just in between now that needs to dry but yeah they're uh, still very very sparkly and uh, yeah nice little projects Good fun to do for yourself or for children or just if you're doing a huge canvas and you just want to do something small in between just to uh, achieve something and have a finished product at the end. Hi everyone, I'm back. Uh, just a quick aside, um, I've finished my key rings now. I decided to make them all key rings. Um, I've sealed both sides now so these drills are not going anywhere. I think you can see I'm really pushing hard on those and they are not going anywhere so they're completely sealed um, after I'd finished videoing uh, I left them to dry and then last night before going to bed I just put a coat on the other side as well so that's my key rings done and um, I did have a little bit of trouble getting the key ring through the holes because they are quite a way down as you can see and then with the width of the gems that are on as well um, they do take a little bit of doing. What I did was get, um, I've got a little tool that I use for a nomination bracelet that I've got and I just used that and kept the claws of the keychain open, really well open as you can see you can split your nails. And, not that I've got any nails to split at the minute. Um, and yeah, it's so, uh, you know, they were quite tough to do. It's not something I'm going to be taking on and off. Um, when I did the panda, I think you can see I've just put a little bit more seal around because one of the gems did come off as I was uh, clipping the uh, keychain onto it. I mean, no detriment, you know, it's easy to just pop the uh, gem back on. And as I said, I've just put some extra sealer on just to keep it there. I'm half tempted that if I get another set, um, I'm going to order the Christmas set. Sorry for saying the C word again in nearly May, uh, nearly June, sorry. Um, but yeah, there is a set of three Christmas key rings, which I really, really do like. Um, and I think I might even put the keychains on before I put the gems on. You know, maybe do them and then when I get to the end, just so that I'm not catching the gems. We'll see. Something I'm going to try anyway, because as I said, you know, that was quite difficult to do. Uh, they are quite tight in the holes as well. Um, so, you know, you're not going to get much wiggle room, but they're certainly not going to come off. Uh, but my favourite is definitely the turtle. I just love those colours. Look at the way he sparkles. And as you can see, oh, I've got an extra gem stuck there, look. Uh, that one's, the one's just popped upside down. Never mind. I'll have a look at that in a bit. <laughs> that one's, uh, I think, definitely going on my bag. I think green will go with my bag. I've got like a, a dark brownish colour, so I think that will really stand out. Although I've got Scotty dogs on it as well, but hey ho, I think my bag's weighed down with all the gems and things I've got on it, all the keychains and things. But yeah, I do like a bit of bling. But uh, yeah, he's lovely. So nice little set. I've enjoyed doing them. Um, make great little presents, you know, and let's say even to put on a, a bag. If you've got a gift bag for somebody, just an extra little present or even to hang in the aperture of a card. You know, they, they do quite, you can't really see that one when it's uh, from up above, but they do swing quite a bit. Can you see that? Oh, you've got my hand in the way. They do swing quite a bit. So yeah, they're really pretty, really nice there. So, and the panda with his boggly eyes. But yeah, the sealing them, as I say, and I didn't wipe them and there's no sparkle gone from those gems so it's up to you whether you want to uh, wipe your sealer off or whether you just leave it um 
And so I think I'm just going to continue to leave it. It just cuts out an extra job. But uh, there you are. So that's the three keychains all done. So thanks for watching. I hope you found this useful. Um, if you've enjoyed it, then please press the like button that's down here. It helps me with YouTube and all the algorithms, whatever they are. <laughs> and uh, if you want to see a bit more, subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. So thanks for watching. Bye for now.